Hello guys, welcome back to another video discussion on integral calculus. But in this video, we will learn how to integrate functions using U substitution. In our previous videos, we talk about our integrating of several functions using the conventional way. Like for example, if we have the integration, integration of ax plus b, that is raised to the 3 dx. The first thing we should do here is to identify u, and that is our u that is equal to ax plus b, and our du should be a dx. But in this case, since this is our u, this is our r, our du should have a, correct? So we multiply a here, and then 1 over a outside of the function, and that would give us the value 1 over a, that is a x plus b raised to r plus 1, that is um, 4, or let's say it's 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1. And gi this gives us the answer, a x plus b raised to 4 over 4a plus c. So this is the integration of this one. And then we also have the integration of e raised to 2x dx, we identify u, but in this case our u is 2x, our du is 2 dx. So in this case, we multiply 2 here and 1 half outside of the integration, and then we have 1 half e raised to 2x plus c. So this is our integration. But in this video, instead of we are using this approach in integrating, we substitute u or we change our integrand into function of u. So we change function of x into function of u. Then we get the integration of, of function of u. Then again, after we get the integration, we substitute back our u here as function of x. So we go back to function of x. So this is the procedure for u substitution. Okay, so let's try to solve problem. Like for example, in this one, we have the integration of 2x squared, then 3x cubed plus 2 raised to 4 dx. So the way we compute that in our previous video, we have identify du, that is our u in this case is this one, and our r is 4, okay? Then the derivative of u, that is 3x squared dx. So we can use the power rule, however, um, if we rewrite our equation as x cubed, plus 2 raised to 4, and this one is 2x squared dx. So we have this as our u, this one is our r, and this one should be our du. However, take note, the only number that we have in our integral is 2 for du, but we have to satisfy 3x squared dx, our du here. So we can take 2 out of our equation, so let's put it outside. And then, take note, we are lacking of 3, so we multiply 3 here, and then we multiply 1 third outside of the equation. So we can answer, we can apply power rule now, that is the integration of u r du, that is equal to u r plus 1 over r plus 1 plus c. So therefore, we have the answer, 2 third, that is x cubed plus 2, that's our u, then we have r4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 plus c. Then we have the answer that is equal to 2. Then we have, since we have 5 in the denominator, then we multiply it to 3. We have 2 over 15 times x cubed plus 2 raised to 5 plus c. So this is the integration of 2x squared times 3x cubed plus 2 raised to the 4. Okay, this is the the procedure that I taught you in the last videos that we had. For u substitution, we will not be introducing 
3 and then multiply 1 third outside of the integration. So in this video, we will integrate this one using other approach. Okay, so again, we identify u that is x cubed plus 2 and then the derivative of u that is 3x squared dx. Okay, then we know that our dx here is equal to du over 3x squared. Okay, let's change everything in terms of u. So we have the integration of, so we have 2x squared, so let's copy 2x squared in that case. Then our x cubed plus 2, that is u, since this one is u, and this one is r. So we have raised to the fourth, correct? Now our dx from this form, that is du over 3x squared, correct? Now we can cancel out x squared here and then the remaining would be the integration of 2 third u raised to the fourth du. Then we can take out 2 third outside of the integration. We have 2 third the integration of u fourth du. This is power rule, so we have 2 third that is times u raised to r plus 1, that is 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 plus c. So this is power rule. So we have 2 third times u raised to the 5 over 5 plus c. Now let's get our u, the value of u back to our equation, that is we have 2, then we have 5 times 3, we have 15. Our u here, that is x cubed plus 2, then we have x cubed plus 2 raised to the 5 plus c. So this is the integration of 2x squared times x cubed plus 2 raised to the 4 dx using u substitution. Now I have here, um, Next example, the integration of second raised to the 5x tangent x dx. So by looking at the equation, we could use here power rule or that is the integration using power formula. But you cannot directly use that rule in this equation since take note we have two functions here or two trigonometric functions combined into one function. If you let u here that is second x, then you need to have du that is basically equal to second x tangent x dx. Okay? But in this case, we only have tangent x dx as our du. Again, you do not, um, you should not introduce a multiplier that is second x just to satisfy du and then multiply 1 over second x outside of the integration. So the first thing we do here is to break second 5x into two trigonometric functions, and that we could say that it is second fourth x times second x then tangent x dx in which our second 5x was broken into two we have second 4x and second x so if you combine these two then you will have second 5x okay now in this case this one is our u second x and this one is our du but in the con conventional way, we can go directly with the power rule that is u raised to r du or that is u is to r plus 1 over r plus 1 plus c in which our du here that is second x tangent x, so this one, this our du and u and our r here is 4. But using u substitution, we change these functions into function of u. Okay, so let's change that. First one, we have a second x here that is u, and we have the exponent of 4 times, we have a second x tangent x, let's copy that one. Then our dx here, the value of dx, okay, can be um, derived using this du here. We can express dx here as equal to um, du over second x tangent x. Correct? So therefore, we change the value of dx here by 
this value. So we have du over second x tangent x. And then we can cancel this out, correct? Second x tangent x. So the remaining would be the integration of u raised to the 4 du. And we know this is power rule from this one here. And we have u raised to 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 plus c. And this gives us u raised to the 5 over 5 plus c. Now, this should not be our final answer. Take note, we take our value of u back into the equation. Okay? So, let's change this some function of u here into function of x. So, take note our value of u that is second x. So, let's get second x back in the equation. That is u that is second x raised to the 5 over 5 plus c. And this gives us the final answer, second raised to the 5x over 5 plus c. So this is the answer. So it might be too long no, compared to the first approach I taught you from the past lesson, but this, but this could help you, of course, in dealing with a much complex functions later on. Okay, so this is the integration of second 5x tangent x dx. And then we have example number 3. We have the integration of cosine squared x square root of 1 plus 3 cotangent x dx. So in this case, we can rewrite the, our function as the integration of cosecant squared x. Then since it is square root, then we can say that it's 1 plus 3 cotangent x. Then we have... Um, exponent 1 half dx okay so in this case we identify u our u is 1 plus 3 cotangent x then our du is a derivative of cotangent x that is equal to negative 3 cosecant squared x dx and then we can express our du here as dx is equal to du over negative 3 cosecant squared x. So let's um, substitute u in this form. Then we have, that is the integration of cosecant squared x times, since our 1 plus 3 cotangent x, that is u raised to 1 half then our dx that is du over negative 3 cosecant squared x okay then we can cancel out cosecant squared x and cosecant squared x here in the denominator then we can take 1 over negative 3 outside of the integration then in 1 over negative 3 that is, we have here u raised to 1 half du. This is power rule. Then we could have 1 over negative 3. That is, u raised to 1 half plus 1 over 1 half plus 1 plus c. So we have 1 over negative 3 u raised to 1 half plus 1. That is, 3 halves over 3 halves plus c or then we could have reciprocal of 3 halves that is 2 thirds u raised to 3 halves plus c then we have 2 over 9 that is a negative u raised to 3 halves plus c and then we take our um, the value of u here inside the function then we have negative 2 over 9 that is our u here it is 1 plus 3 cotangent x so this one so we have 1 plus 3 cotangent x raised to 3 halves plus c okay we copy this one we just um, substitute the value of u in this equation then we have now our answer that is the 
answer negative 2 over 9 times 1 plus 3 cotangent x raised to 3 halves plus c. We have next example, we have the integration of 3x squared minus 2, then second of x cubed minus 2x dx. So this, um, we have trigonometric rule. So we have discussed all the trigonometric integration. So you have to remember all this integration rule for trigonometric functions. No? We have the integration of sine u du, that is this one, cosine u, and then uh, until cosecant squared u du. So you make yourself familiarize with all this integration rule. Now in this case, we can apply the trigonometric rule that is the integration of integration of second u du that is equal to the natural logarithm of second u plus tangent u plus c. Okay? Now in this case, our u that is x cubed minus 2x, so therefore our du is 3x squared minus 2 that is dx. So therefore we could express that our dx here that is equal to du over 3x squared minus 2. Okay? So let's change all this variable here into u. So we have the integration of, let's copy 3x squared minus 2. Then that is second. Since x cubed minus 2x here that is our u times our dx that is du over 3x squared minus 2, we have du over 3x squared minus 2. So we can actually cancel this out here. Then we have the integration of second u du, in which we know that it is from this rule here that is the natural logarithm of second u plus tangent u plus c. And then we replace our u here by the function of x and we know that u is equal to x cubed minus 2x. So therefore, we could have our final answer as the natural logarithm of second. Then we have x cubed minus 2x, that is our u, plus tangent of x cubed minus 2x. Then we have the absolute value plus c. So this is the final answer or the integration of 3x squared minus 2. Then we have second x cubed minus 2x dx. And, and then we have the integration of tangent 2 over pi x dx. So we need to um, integrate. And then we have the integration rule that is the integration of tangent u du is equal to the natural logarithm of second u plus c or we could have negative natural logarithm of cosine u plus c. So any of the two, okay, that will do. So we have to identify u and our u here that is now from our general form of our integration rule, our u is 2 over pi x. So therefore, our du here is equal to 2 over pi dx. Okay? So we have the integration of tangent. Now again, we need to change that 2 over pi x into u. Now take note, our du here can be expressed as dx is equal to du over 2 over pi or that would become dx is equal to pi over 2 du. So therefore, we have our dx here that is pi over 2 du. Okay, so this one is our dx. We can take out pi over 2 outside of the integration. And we know that the integration of tangent u du is either of these two. But in this case, let's try to use the first one. Then we have, let's copy pi over 2. Then the natural logarithm of second u plus c okay now we will be going to replace u here as function of x and we know that our u is equal to 2 over pi x so we can write that as pi over 2 the natural logarithm of second now our u is 
2 over pi x, then we have plus c. So this is now the final answer or the integration of tangent 2 over pi x dx. Now we have um, the integration of transcendental function, that is the integration of 6x minus 2 over 3x squared minus 2x dx. Now in this case, we can take out or we can look for our value of u here that is 3x squared min minus 2x. Our du here that is equal to 6x minus 2 that is dx. So therefore we can express this as dx is equal to du over 6x minus 2. Okay, so let's change all this um, integrand or change this integrand in terms of u. Then we have the integration of 6x minus 2 over 3x squared minus 2x, that is u. Our dx here, that is du over 6x minus 2, therefore we have du over 6x minus 2. So by further simplifying, we have, um, we can cancel out 6x minus 2. Then the remaining would be the integration of du over u and we know that the integration of du over u that is equal to the natural logarithm of u plus c okay from our um, previous integration rule and we know that our u let's get back our u so equation then we have u is 3 x squared minus 2 x then we have plus c so this is the integration of 6x minus 2 over 3x squared minus 2x using u substitution. And now we have an um, example here that is the integration of e raised to 3x over e raised to 3x plus 1. Now, in this case, you might think that we need to apply power rule. However, again, if we change, or if we move our denominator to numerator, we'll have a e raised to 3x times e raised to 3x plus 1 raised to negative 1 dx and again in applying power rule our r here should not be equal to negative 1 okay so therefore we cannot use power rule to this type of problem so what we're going to do here is apply natural logarithm or the exponential form now in this case our u that is equal to e raised to 3x plus 1 our du here should be 3e e raised to 3x dx. Okay? So, we have here, if we change this function of x into function of u, we could have, we copy e raised to 3x over, we know that this one here is our u, that is our u, times our dx. Our dx here could be derived using this expression. We could express this one as dx equal to du over 3e raised to 3x. So we substitute dx here as du over 3e raised to 3x. So we have times du over 3e raised to 3x. And now take note, we can cancel out e raised to 3x. And we have um, the integration of du over 3u. Okay, and we know that the integration of du over u, that is the natural logarithm of u plus c. So we can take one third outside of the integral. We have 1 over 3 du over u, and that gives us one third the natural logarithm of u plus c. And we have, since our du over u here, that is the natural logarithm of u plus c. Now, this should not be our final answer. Take note, we change this, our function of u, back to the function of x. So, we take our value of u here in the function, that is our u is equal to e raised to 3x plus 1, then we substitute this value in this function, that is we have one third, the natural logarithm of our u here, that is e raised to 3x plus 1 plus c. So this now is the answer or the integration of e raised to 3x over e raised to 3x plus 1 dx. Now we have last example, we have the integration of 5x 
e raised to 4x squared dx. Since we do not have fraction, then we can directly use the equation or the integration rule that is the integration of e u du is equal to e u plus c. Okay? Now, in this case, our u is equal to 4x squared from this rule here. Then, the derivative of u that is equal to 8x dx. So, therefore, we can express that as dx is equal to du over 8x. Okay, so let's um, substitute or let's us change this function in terms of u. Then, we have the integration of 5x times e that is our u in the uh, exponent. Then our dx here, that is du over 8x, du over 8x. So we can cancel out x, and the remaining would be 5 over 8, the integration of eu du. So we can take 5 over 8 outside of the integration, then we have eu du here. So we know that the integration of eu du is equal to e raised to u plus c. Then we have 5 over 8, that is e u plus c. Now our u here, that is e, then let's substitute back the value of u, that is 4x squared, this one. We have 4x squared plus c. So this is the integration of 5x e raised to 4x squared dx. So we have two ways in computing the integration. Again, the first one that I introduced was to introduce a multiplier and the reciprocal outside of the integration. But in this video, we learned how to compute integration using u substitution. Okay, so that's it for this um, discussion. So for more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for listening.